Hey folks, how's it going? I'm here today in the BMW 530i xDrive. It's 255 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine, pretty much BMW's ubiquitous two-liter four-popper, all-wheel drive, and the M Sport package, which gives you some niceties on the interior and exterior. Base five series is gonna start at 57 grand-ish. X-Drive is going to bump that up to 60. This one here with all its options and nice stuff is about 73, which is a lot of money for a car with a four cylinder engine. BMW talks a lot about how good this car is to drive. So we're going to put it to the test today on some back roads in somewhere in South Carolina near the BMW plant. You know it, you love it. It's not the quickest car in the world, but you wouldn't really expect it to be. It is the base five series, pretty much. But it's not slow. I mean, 255 horsepower. I'm not sure exactly how much it weighs. I'll put it right here. And by I, I mean my video editor, who's a very nice man. Uh, but it weighs a lot, you know? It's a big executive sedan. And that's gonna carry some heft with it. There's no way around that. As always, like all BMW 5 Series, it's got a ZF 8-speed transmission in the middle. It's a great transmission. Responds quickly to your shifts. It's smooth, it does, you, you almost, it's almost, you almost don't feel the shifts. It's so smooth. Which is what you want in a car like this, because if you're at the 530, you know, sure, you get the M Sport package for the looks, but really you're looking for an executive car, a car to commute in that'll, you know, give you some status as you waft along to your, your business job doing business. The engine doesn't sound awesome. I mean, I've got a lot of experience with this two-liter four-cylinder. It's in a lot of BMWs that are sold today, and it's actually the same engine that powers my mother's 2014 BMW X3. So BMW's pretty much perfected this engine at this point. It's definitely smoother than it used to be. It makes just about the same amount of power, which is good enough for this kind of car. This is probably the volume seller, I would assume, for the 5 Series. Which way, Western man? Let's go right. You know, not a ton, especially in this all-wheel drive model, which if you can find a base 5 Series with rear-wheel drive only, that's an achievement in itself. They don't make a ton of them because there isn't a ton of demand for them. Most of them are X-Drive models at this point. And X-Drive's fantastic. Obviously, it's bone dry where I am today, but I, I, I'd have to guess using X-Drive many a time in my life that it feels pretty good in the rain. In terms of 5 Series-ishness, it's pretty good. I mean, this one, spec the way it is, you know, you get a lot of nice stuff. The seats are incredibly comfortable. I wish they were cooled, but, you know, can't win them all. All the materials are pretty nice. There's some, there's some plastic around. And honestly, it's not quite as well insulated as I was hoping it would be. You hear a lot of road noise, a lot of engine noise, a lot of wind noise too. Well, not too much wind noise, but a lot of road and engine noise. I mean, I've honestly put it on par with some of the, uh, you know, like a Honda Accord, you're probably gonna get similar amounts of road noise into the cabin. But that car is also 35 grand and this is 70 something or other. That's a lot of money. Let's go, let's do a little highway acceleration. No one's coming. Okay. First gear, no one's coming, it's fine. And let's go. Oh. If you miss a shift, it bogs down like nothing else. And there's 60. So it's, not, it's no slouch, it's not a slow car. It's just our sense of what a fast car is is so warped these days that if it doesn't go zero to 16 under four seconds, you're like, oh, it's kind of sluggish. It's not. And for what people are gonna do with a car like this, it's great. 
that being said, what people are going to do with a car like this is just cruise around and go to work and all that stuff. And it should, there should, it should feel a little bit nicer. Not that it feels bad, like it feels good. It feels like a premium car. But there's some plastic and some kind of hard touch materials that just leave a, you know, that, that doesn't sound very nice. That just leave a little bit to be desired. 